today, let's take a look at the prefecture of Kagawa. Kagawa is on the island of Shikoku, the smallest of Japan's four main islands. It's surprisingly easy to get here, whether by air, rail, or even by sleeper car from Tokyo, waking up fresh to take in the views. The islands scattered through the Seto Inland Sea may be the best way to enjoy this prefecture. This sea is the oldest national park in Japan. Nature shares space with art on the islands of Naoshima and Teshima, and olives grace the hillsides of Shodoshima. Every three years, these islands and many more are staged the world-famous contemporary art festival, the Seto Uchi Triennale. Let art be your guide as you lose yourself on the island's cuisines, cultures, and unforgettable scenery. Even back on the mainland, art is everywhere. Museums, architectural landmarks, one-of-a-kind lacquerware techniques. You could say that art is woven into the very fabric of daily life. The crown jewel might just be the living painting that is Ritzerin Garden. They say that every step you take here reveals a new vista. Getting hungry yet? Nothing says Kagawa more than a bowl of Sanuki Udon noodles. Whether at the station, airport, or on board a ferry, you are never too far away from a fresh bowl of Udon. So how did Kagawa become the king of Udon? Climate. As one of the driest prefectures in Japan, the key ingredients, wheat and salt, are in abundance. With soy sauce and plentiful sardines, the culture of Udon took off, big time. Enough to be number one in Udon consumption, to be precise, and of course, in flavor. Kagawa may be dry, but reservoir ponds cover the prefecture, including the largest in Japan, Mano Ike Reservoir. Speaking of things to boast about, Kagawa is proud to be the biggest producer in Japan of Uchiwa fans, pine bonsai, gloves, and much more. Oh, and the tallest stone walls and smallest castle tower in the country? Right here at Marugame Castle. Kagawa might be the smallest prefecture in Japan, but it's number one in many other ways too. I myself have lived here for a couple of years, and I would say I'm pretty comfortable with the dialect. Okay, so maybe I have a little more ways to go. But every time I look out at the island dotted sea, I can relax, forget about my worries. So try and visit. Take in the landscapes and the rich culture. Go ahead and find your Kagawa.